Hi, myself Bharatwin. Today our topic is product detection in retail industry, which is a uh, major concept in image and video analytics. So, what is detection? Image recognition is the process of analyzing an input image and predicting its category from a set of categories. The image recognition algorithm classifies the image by predicting its class label, that is, a single product in a single image. But what happens when there are multiple products in an image? At that time, we will use a different set of techniques, that is known as object detection. The object detection is a computer vision technique, uh, commonly known as OpenCV, in which a system can detect, locate and trace the object from a given image or video. The special attribute about object detection is that it identifies the class of object and their location specific coordinates in the given image. Object detection is also the process of not only identifying and locating the SKU in an image but also it localizes the image which is typically achieved by drawing a bounding box around the object in an image. Object detection is one of the most fundamental tasks in computer vision community which aims to answer the question where are the instances of the particular object classes. It is extremely useful in the retail scenarios such as identifying commodity on the shelves to provide or a price a review or price information and the navigation in supermarkets also to promote sales. The conventional standard uses a bounding box to represent object instances through which we can gradually classify and regress the object and predict the instances numbers enclosed in the bounding box. Next we are moving to bounding box. So what is bounding box? Bounding box is the most popular image annotation technique suitable for e-commerce and retail industry bringing a more interactive experience for the customers while searching for a particular product online. A bounding box is an imaginary rectangle that serves as a point of reference for object deduction and it creates a collision box for that object. Data annotators draw these rectangles over images outlining the object of interest within each image by defining its x and y coordinates. The main purpose of bounding box is to reduce the range of search for the object's features and reducing the computing resources. And apart from object reduction, it also helps in object classification. Some examples, product deduction in retail, store shelves, self-driving cars, face deduction, etc. Next, we are moving to the use cases of uh, bounding box and product deduction in the retail industry. The first use case is on-shelf availability, that is, uh, searching in a shelf for the product. Placing the right product on the right shelf is extremely crucial for ensuring that consumers do not have a disappointing shopping experience. Often, when consumers cannot find the product they are looking for, they switch to a competitor. And might never return. So, second use case is determining self share space on the basis of the product sales, ensuring that there are no out of stocks of high demand products. For the better uh, business cases, the self should be no, should not be empty. For that, it uh, it could be a very useful. These are some uh, samples of the product deduction. Uh, product reduction technique that is uh, in these images there are some rectangle boxes which are deduct the, which is deducted by the bounding box method next we are moving into uh, use cases that promotion and brand building apart from products products import important aspects that influence buying decisions is the visual attraction like promotions and in brand visibility. Increasing promotional visibility along with a creating a brand block with the multiple phasing has an improved visual impact on the buyers. Using this bounding box technology, we can also, uh, we can also uh, deduct the visual impact of the uh, buyers.
a well organized product searching platform bounding box helps to annotate the each object with the tagging of assigning into a certain category that helps only customers but also store owners to uh, present the best suitable products customers are exactly looking to buy with their budget it enables for customers to search the uh, using the various criteria to locate the specific product meeting their preference and if your products images are appropriately organized, the customer will get a fully optimized shopping experience. Next, we are moving into next use case that complementary products. Placing products alongside complementary products increases the chance of attracting potential buyers. At last, we are using the a perfect store. We are creating the perfect store for uh, better customers, for better business with the image recognition technology. Using these te uh, techniques to improve store performance is not a new concept. Auditing self-management using image recognition digitized stores, checks and also plays an essential role in understanding the shelf conditions and how they affect the sales of their core SQUs. Now we are moving into the product deduction implementation backend process the product direction in retail industry firstly we are importing uh, the necessary libraries like uh, operating system OS for the path reductions and the image uh, annotation text uh, CV2 for the implementation of the boundary boxes random for the uh, random choice of the files uh, chosen CV2 means uh, uh, computer vision uh, second generation Firstly, we are uh, assigning a variable for the paths of the images. Next, we are loading the files uh, which are in the path. After that, we are printing the number of uh, images in that uh, data points. Uh, after that, we are assigning a variable image name for uh, randomly selecting the files. Next, we are moving to the uh, combining both the path and the image names here we are opening the annotation self uh, text file which is annotation means the parameters which is to be uh, bounded over the object in the uh, shelf for that we need some parameters to be bounded in a uh, object so we are uh, creating a for loop in that we are uh, splitting the images uh, image or image text uh, split it into uh, partly after that we are uh, assigning and combining the text file for the images next we are uh, providing parameter uh, like uh, para color and thickness for the uh, boundaries of the object uh, uh, finally, we are uh, given a fu function called cv2.rectangle because uh, our boundary box should be in rectangle so that we are giving rectangle. For that, uh, it has some parameters like we have to call the image, which image should be bounded, after that from which point it should be bounded. Uh, from which point to which point we have to bound after that we are using uh, color feature and a thickness next we are showing the images this is the this is the result of the implementation work uh, in which we have uh, 10 images the, uh, showing us that each image each image in the uh, shelves have been differentiated separately that is, uh, we are uh, separating baby milk powders, uh, pacings, mug. After that, we are uh, separating some uh, chocolates from the shelf. Now, we are seeing the uh, other algorithms for product deduction. These are the other algorithms using bounding box annotated images for object deductions. SPP, uh, successive shortest path, which is a deep learning uh, algorithm then SSD which is a single shot deductor which deducts the uh, objects in an image 
uh, using a single shot so uh, the name has been kept for that or CNN region based convolutional neural network fast on or CNN fast or CNN feature premium networks YOLO you only look once these are the frameworks and the deep learning algorithms for uh, and the product reduction and the object reduction conclusion object reduction is considered as much harder than classification specifically because of the limited data set real time data reduction uh, speed problems these are the problems for the uh, harder researchers continue to apply great efforts to mitigate these obstacles however significant problems still persist real time deduction with the object classification and the localization accuracy is still a notable issue and the researchers often prioritize one or the other thing when making decisions object deduction is completely interlinked with the other similar computer vision techniques such as image segmentation and image recognition that assist us to understand and analyze the scenes in video and images it is also fascinating a field and is uh, rightly seeing a ton of traction in commercial and uh, retail as well as research applications these are the uh, techniques uh, the problems revolves around the uh, retail exams uh, these problems can be overcome through uh, seen uh, through these uh, techniques which are which have been seen uh, earlier in the below uh, in the videos uh, videos description i have attached some references for the product direction in retail industry thank you